what does a section eight housing public housing development look like in puerto rico so we're gonna go up this particular building and you know i think it's the same i think it's just a, a, a different section of the same apartments um, that I had seen on the other side. So it was really, really big. And some of them got balconies. Some of them don't have balconies. It's called Bien, oh no, Bienvenidos is welcome, but it's called Ardine de Monte Ateo. Okay, so when you first come inside, this is what you see. Ooh, well, I'm not gonna say when you first come inside, but this is one of the main entrances. Um, when you come in, this looks like a boxing gym. A lot of public housing developments or Section 8 places in Puerto Rico have boxing gyms and also basketball courts. You know, it's usually like a hallway like that. You know what I'm saying? And this is whether you in um, Rincón, um, over West Puerto Rico, San Torce. It doesn't matter. There's certain attributes that are similar regardless of what part of Puerto Rico you're in. So this is what it's called. Bienvenido Ignacio de Boxeo Monte Ateo de Piedra San Juan World Boxing Organization. So there's many reasons of why I really like the public housing apartments in Puerto Rico because it has like the structure of the apartments I'm kind of used to where you can go to a particular office if you want to to ask certain questions or you can um go to the basketball court you know what I'm saying or you can go to like the boxing gym or something like that you know but yeah I just want, kind of wanted to walk around and show y'all a little bit what it looks like maybe I will run into the basketball court and then kind of show it but at the same time you know, I know that people got their different jobs and businesses that they do outside, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to make anybody too paranoid, a person just coming out here with a motherfucking phone in their hand or whatever, you know, because I know people do what they do, like I said. So yeah, I do see this basketball court over here. This does not look like the typical basketball, uh, basketball court that I have seen at public housing developments is usually the one with the roof. They probably have this as an alternative because the hoops do look um, kind of smaller than the ones that I'm used to. But this is one and I think this is the other one if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this is basketball court right here. You know what I'm saying? So I do really like them yeah this is more of the kitty the kids basketball court which i haven't seen like a a kids version and then like a an adult version before so this is really cool to see but yeah this public housing looks like the public housings out here look a lot like how a school would be designed and here go another basketball court over here again very different than the ones i see but the setup is pretty much the same you know so this is one and i'm gonna show the other ones that i run across as well just so y'all can see that the differences are not that different you know what i'm saying they're pretty much the same so this is one and like i said ardine de monte atil so yeah and you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it, it's not a lot going on right now, but depending on whatever time you might come to a particular neighborhood is when more people might, might be outside or, or more people might be, you know, doing what it is that they do at particular times and stuff like that. Um, you know, maybe the boxing gym is open at night. Maybe it's open early in the morning. Maybe it's not open on Tuesdays or whatever the case may be. But um, yeah, my feet are starting to hurt a lot. And like I said, I'm about an hour walk from home. So, you know, I'm just, I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna get these videos done. And I'm just gonna 
record the things that I just so happen to come across as I'm walking because this was kind of a little bit out my way I just kind of wanted to see some stuff that was down this particular street you know but I don't have to do it all today you know I did a lot today I did a lot yesterday and like I said I'm still going to the university today because I do want to sketch some images and uh, right now it's about 2 30 you know so I think that it closes at five if I'm not mistaken so even if I'm able to just draw a little bit for one particular I probably would just get one book today because I did a lot of architecture today um, when it comes to doing videography architecture you know so maybe I'll focus more on the abstract part of the video of what I'm gonna trace from the books in the library and then um, and then do my own art at home so yeah and I'm gonna show y'all like like this is a really really big one most of them are usually big though and it has like different parts and different sections so much sometimes it looks like it's a different apartment but some, it's, sometimes it's the same one it just has many different entrances so yeah, but I like it. It's, it's quiet. It's not too much going on. You know what I'm saying? And it's really hot, too. I mean, it's not really, really hot. It's, it's the typical hot. But, yeah. So, you see how this part of the building is, is like, orange. But it's still, like, a, a public housing. In my mind, I would think that the orange part would be, like, a different name. Like, a different... A different um, a different apartment but it's not you know what I'm saying so here's a store right here I think this is a store that well I'm not really sure you know what I'm saying but yeah this is the store that's nearby the corner store the closest corner store to that uh, uh, particular apartment building and this video will be called um, well I don't know what it'll be called but it'll be something like putting the name of the neighborhood in the title and then also um, the name of it and then also the uh, just like Puerto Rico public housing or something like that. But this is a particular area that people occupy. You know what I'm saying this is some, you know, garbage and stuff like that. So it, it, the difference is that it's only in certain sections where you might see a lot of garbage. And that's like the main difference. That door is open to that apartment. But you know, I don't want to go over there because somebody really might live in there, even though this is a offline building and maybe the orange part of the building that i seen in the other public housing maybe that part of the building is like abandoned or whatever um but yeah i like that these sinks are outside one thing i like is that sometimes in the balcony of certain apartments or certain houses out here in puerto rico um the refrigerator might be like on the porch or something or the sink might like be on the porch like as a part of like the balcony or whatever i really like that so yeah or you can just like, um, like open your refrigerator, get a motherfucking icy, chill in your hammock on your motherfucking porch. Oh, so there's a college over here. It's called Colegio uh, something, I don't know. Ga something. Colegio, that was a, a colegio near Mega Fresh and Farmacia Monte Carlo. This neighborhood is called Monte Carlo. Well, this street is called Monte Carlo. Avienda Monte Carlo. I mean, Mon Monte Carlo. Avienda Monte Carlo. So, Avienda is Avenue. And I can't see the. Oh, yeah. Avienda Rafael Hernandez Marin. So, this is a Avienda Avenue, um, which is different than the streets near my house because the streets near my house are all calle 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 whatever um but yeah you see how this particular part of this housing is orange but this is also public housing um and I, i'm not really too sure how it works but i know that this is a particular style of public housing and it is in some way affiliated with the blue okay so I, you see how i went all the way around the street this is that same design 
of the other of the other building and it's called the same thing you know but this particular area in my mind would i would think would be a different uh, apartment building so if you are watching this video and you're from puerto rico maybe you could shed some light on that you know what i'm saying about how in one particular building um there's different style of, styles of apartments in that building as far as colors well i guess this is my answer right here maybe they're just painting maybe they're just painting you know what i'm saying they haven't gotten to certain buildings yet because um when i was living at an apartment building with my mom she um she she had it well that building was starting to get painted so it looked like on one side it was one color and another side it was a different color but you see how this is the same this is the same building it's just not painted as much you know and over here i think it's section eight too but it's just i think that's a different name though because the style is different or whatever but maybe it's the same because it's like in the same area you know like And sometimes the apartments be for elderly and stuff like that. So it can kind of be difficult to find an apartment because you would think like, like, cause I asked somebody who actually lives in this particular building. I asked him if this building is a section eight. He's like, yeah. I said, do they accept section eight vouchers, not public housing? And he's like, yeah, but he's probably just not familiar, you know, because you would, sometimes it's, you can just get things mix, mixed up where, um, like in, for instance, in, in the United States, public housing, individuals don't have a section 8 voucher as well or if they do they kind of cancel both of them out and you can't use either one because you got both basketball courts puerto rico has a lot of basketball courts but you know what i'm saying so like i can't use my section 8 voucher at a public housing um building you know what i'm saying because i don't have that like i would need to transfer my section 8 voucher into public housing instead of what section 8 is but it seems like at this point i do prefer public housing just because of the stability and the construction that's that's involved but at the same time here goes some chicken 